Hello everyone, I'm Katie and I'm the artist for Personal Artwork and today I'm going to be continuing on with this uh, drawing of the working type Cocker Spaniel. Um, I've done the eyes as you can see on um, the first part I did this eye and I continued on and did this, this other eye. So I'm now going to do the nose. So I'm just going to minimise this and just zoom in on the, the part that I'm going to be working on. So we're going to be working on the nose today. Now a lot of this is going to be sped up for you just because it takes so long to get the different layers on. Um, so I'm first of all going to be working on um, the, the black areas and getting some structure to, to the nose. So I'm just going to speed this up while I do this just so it, it's not a massive long video for you. Okay, so I'm just going to start working on this now. Um, enjoy the video. If you have any, any questions at all, then obviously drop us a comment below. Um, I'm going to be stopping at certain parts just to show you what I'm doing. And then I'll speed it up again um, because a lot of it is self-explanatory. I do have another video um, which shows you how to draw a dog's nose. Um, so it will be a similar technique to that. But obviously this nose will be different. Um, so hope you enjoy the video. So as you can see, I've picked out all of the um, darkest areas of the nose. Um, <clears throat> I've shaded in the um, the nostrils because they are very black. Um, and I've come down and I've, I've highlighted this centre part of the nose. My sketch was a little bit wrong, so I've corrected that, as you may have seen on the, on the video there. Um, it is very light at the top of the nose, so I've left that very, very faint. Um, so this is the fun part. This is where we start blocking in some of the colour um, and just using circular motions. I'm just going to start um, filling in the main, the main areas. So just using circular motions, small circles. Now, as you can see, I'm not using a sharp pencil for this bit. Because I am um, blocking in quite a lot of colour um, and it's not highly detailed at this point, um, you can just basically block in that colour and, and 
highlight all the, the darkest areas. So we'll start, just keep looking at your reference photo. As you can see, it just gets that little bit of texture at this point. Now I'm just going to take out some of my reference lines. Now I'm just using the Tombow eraser to do this. This is the small circle, circular one. <clears throat> it's very good for, for very small areas to get some detail. So I'm only going to come up to this, this point where I've put my reference line in because that's where the highlight stops. So I don't want to go too far up. That's pretty easy at this point. And we'll come round here. It's quite quite dark down here and round here. So just start getting the shape, as you can see from the reference photo, just using those circular motions and keep going round. Now we're going to be adding the detail afterwards. So like I say, you don't need to be massively conscious at this point of of the detail. Now you might have noticed me adding these parts in here. If you look at the reference photo to the left, there are some highlights in here that I want to get in, so I didn't want to do that too dark. I also use the luminance pencil, um, the the black luminance pencil on the around the nostrils because um, it does apply the pigment quite a lot stronger than the polychromos. So I did add that. To the areas where I'm not necessarily wanting any highlights in there. So as you can see I'm just laying down some some colour there. I'm just going to speed this up and then you can start seeing me build up this this colour and then start picking out all the shadows. All right. So as you can see, I have laid down um, a fair bit of the black now. Um, I've picked out the the main structure of the nose. So you can see where the highlighted areas are around here. Um, I mean, you can just look at the, the reference photo to see uh, why I've, I've added them in those certain areas. 
Um, now what we're going to do is start adding some detail. Um, so as you can see on the photo, there are, um, you can see what's, it looks almost like leather on the top of the nose. Um, so I'm just going to start picking out those, um, those areas and we can then work on getting You don't have to be exactly like the reference photo, but obviously you need to refer to that for the, the lights and the shadows. So I'm just picking out these darkest areas on the top of the nose. It does take quite a long time to get these in. You'll find, <coughs> excuse me, with a lot of them, it is almost just like a semicircle on the top of the nose. So I'm just going to add some semicircles in there. And don't make them all uniform, because as you'll see, they're not, they're not all in a straight line you'll find that they're very random shapes. And with some dogs' noses, you'll find that there are some creases, especially around this area here. You'll find that there are some creases that come up, get those in at this point. Um, and also down here, you'll notice there are some darker areas. If you look on our reference photo here, there is a, a darker shadow that comes down here. So if we just get that in. And it's just highlighting all those little creases. So you can see some, some little lines that come through. So just make it nice and dark with your sharp pencil. And... Uh, I'll start getting these in. I'm just going to speed this up now, um, just so you're not just watching me doing these uh, these little details. Um, like I say, on the top, a lot of it is just, just semicircles. Just like that. And then when, as you come further down here, they're a lot less prominent around this area. And you'll quickly see that it adds a really good texture. As we come further down, you don't see a lot of the, what we call bumpy bits, I guess, <clears throat> or the leathery effect. You generally just see it where the light hits it here. And sometimes down here it is in here on, on this reference photo. Um, and of course, the closer you are to the shadows, you'll find they're a lot darker and thicker. So I'm just going to get all the, the darkest areas in and then I'll show you how I do the blending technique in order to get it all nice and finished.
So as you can see, um, I've started to get a good layer on here now um, of the nose. Um, and you're starting to see where all the, the darkest areas are. Um, it gives the shape and the definition um, of each of these little little areas here. Now, some of them you'll find after doing this with you know with the black pencil, they do the, some of them look too refined. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just go in with my grey pencil and just start to blend some of these areas here. Um, especially where um, most of the reflection is up here um, and, and some of it here. We're going to pick out all those little details here um, and then it gets quite dark as we come down. So what I'm going to do is start blending now. I'm just using um, a warm grey um, just to get this blended a little bit, uh, just so it doesn't look so black and white. Um, Take your time with this part um, because this this is quite an important part um, of the of the nose. You don't want it to look um, too bumpy. Um, you'll you'll find that if you leave it like this, it, it doesn't look natural. So it's just a matter of going over all of these areas. Once you get down to the darkest part you can just start blending in the circular motions and bring that down. Now this is quite grey, this area here, so I'm just going to blend that in. And I've just noticed there is a, a lot more black here. So it's just making sure that you've got all of those dark areas in. And so it picks out all those shadows. And you don't need to use a hard pressure, just light layers and just build it up. Because you'll find that when you come to erase any areas <clears throat> that you might have, you know, made a bit of a mistake or you want to add a few highlights. It's so much easier to erase a lighter layer than it is, obviously, when you've laid down too much colour. Now I'm just going to go back in with the, uh, the grey pencil. Let's say just... Start to blend them in. And of course, if yours is lighter, then go with the lighter grey. So I'm just going to speed this up again now. So as you can see, I've blended uh, quite a lot of this black in. Um, in doing so, you might find that some of the areas you've lost your, um, you've lost your a lot of the the white highlights on the on the top of the nose. So what I'm going to do now is just using my uh, Tombow eraser, 
I'm just going to start lifting those back out. So as you can see, we are um, starting to get a lot of detail in there now. Um, I have done quite a lot of blending with the grey, um, as well as picking out all the, the highlights with the, uh, with the eraser. So just lifting off some of that um, extra colour on the top. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my luminance pencil um, as you will see from this reference photo, a lot of these areas at the top here are quite blur a lot more blurry than they are further down. Um, so I'm just going to go over the whole area here, just using a white pencil, just to blend those in. So we do want them to stay quite light and you can still see the detail there. I'm using a very light pressure just to, just to come around these um, less refined areas. And it's quite, it's quite detailed here. I'm just gonna pick out some of these highlights here as well as much as I've taken some of the black off with the eraser you can't quite see some of the some of the highlights and it's quite blurred here you'll find as you're working with a nose um you'll You'll start working on one part and then quickly move down to another. Um, that's fine. I know I certainly do that with with mine. So that's quite nicely. Uh, blended in there now and it's very light here on this edge now you might find that some bits don't look very light like this area here is I've done it what appears to be darker than the actual photograph but when you come in I'm just going to fill this in here when you come in with the black as you can see where her ear is there. It 
as soon as you get that black on, this will appear a lot lighter. So I'm just going to um, fine tune a few areas now. So just looking at the reference photo. Now I'm zoomed in quite a lot here. So you can see the parts that I'm working on. I'm just going to add a bit more black in there. Now, as you'll see from the photograph, this isn't as white as I've left it here. So I'm just going to blend this in now. But we still want to keep that shape. It actually comes round a little bit. Add a bit more black in there. So it's just looking at your photograph now and just, like I say, fine tuning all those little areas. We'll do the same over this side. It's quite light here. In here, but I'm just going to blend the rest. To blend, I always find that it's it's better to use circular motions. I don't know why it just seems to um pull the colour in to the tooth a lot easier than if you're going backwards and forwards. There we are. Starting to look a lot better now, so I'm just going to darken some of this black. Actually, I'm going to use the luminance just because uh, this is very black here. The only thing I find with the luminance pencil, you do get little bits. So just be careful of that. And that'll probably be because it's, um, they're a mix of wax and oil as opposed to just oil in the polychromos. But as you can see, they do complement each other rather well. The luminance seem softer and so that it lays on the colour a lot easier. But the polychromos have their their use as well. I'm just going to darken some of these parts here. Just add in a little bit more black. And we're getting close to finishing the nose now. So this has taken a good couple of hours to, um, to do. This is on A4 size, in case you were wondering what size paper it is. It's not, it's not a very big piece. So you'll find that if you're working on a bigger piece, you, you'll probably want to add a bit more detail. You know, you'll be able to zoom, zoom in more. And of course, the bigger the paper, the bigger the, the circular motions that you need to use. Just going to Add in a few more of those little bumpy bits. I'm just going to use my polychromos for that because, like I say, the luminance ones are a little bit soft. I 
And of course, if your reference photo is um, darker or lighter, you would just do it as per your photo. And it doesn't have to be perfect. As much as we would all love to be perfect, there will be bits that you don't get absolutely spot on. Or like me, you might look at the uh, you might look at the portrait when it's done and think, "Oh, I could have done that a little bit better," or "I could have done that a little bit darker." And that's fine. It's all a learning curve. I'm self-taught and. The only way I've learned is just through my own mistakes. So it's always good to look at your older work and see where you went wrong and where you can improve. Now, I think I'm almost finished on this now. I could um, keep going till the cows come home with the nose because I... I really love getting the texture in and making it look super realistic, if I can. But of course, it all depends on the photograph that you're using for reference. Sometimes you don't even see these details. I've had some um, not so good photographs to work from in my time. And it makes it a little bit harder. Sometimes you need to use artistic license and just make it look realistic. There. So I'm just going to zoom out just so we can have a look at it from further away. It does look a little bit funny when there's just the eyes and the nose. But I'm going to start adding in some of the fur next. Um, so I think part three of this tutorial will be um, some of the fur. So I think I'm going to be doing that next. I'm just picking out some more of these little highlighted bits around here because they do come into the shadows. It's really important to get texture on a nose. There aren't very many noses out there that are just completely smooth. Human noses, of course, or a different kettle of fish. Which I think I might do next, actually. I might do a human portrait and do some tutorials on that. But let me know what you think. <clears throat> what you would like to see more of. So... Like I say, you can you can keep going with this if if you want to. <coughs> keep adding in or taking off where you think you've gone a little bit too far. I think that is a little bit too light here. So I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. Not very sharp. I use my other sharper one. There we are. I have so many black pencils going on. Some are a lot sharper than others. Now, what you might find where you have creases, I've just noticed on the reference photo here, you'll have a small little highlight. Just where it catches the light. Yeah. So 
So I'm just going to add them in. Oh, maybe a little too hard there. Like I say, just keep looking at that reference photo and get in the little, all these little details make a difference. A little bit there. I do think this is maybe a little bit too light. I'm just going to blend that in. There. So that is the technique. <clears throat> I might keep going with this, I might not. Um, but if you have any questions at all, then do drop us a comment below. Um, and as many of you know, I'm pretty much, um, I'm pretty quick at responding to messages on my Facebook page. So feel free to message me on Facebook if you just look up personal artwork. So on Facebook, personal artwork, or you can have a look at my website, which is www.personalartwork.co.uk. Um, so yes, this is the nose. I'm going to leave a link at the end for um, part three when I've done that. And we shall get some fur into into Jess's portrait and uh, start getting this finished. I think I'll do a separate tutorial for the ears because ears do take a long time for spaniels. So here is the nose. I'll do some fur. Maybe we'll just do around the top of the head or I might just do a, 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 spit, a sped up drawing um, of, of all of the fur. Um, we shall see. But yeah, drop us a comment below. Um, here is the button for you to subscribe if you want to see more from me. And don't forget to like the video if you like it. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye bye.